lots were all numbered Before they wandered through the desert For forty long years Numbers This is the story of their journey Before they enter the promised land said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites about the offerings they are to present once in the Promised Land. Throughout the generations, Israelites and foreigners who live among them are to offer a portion of the food from the land. Remember that I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord your God. Now a man named Korah from the family of Levi and some other men from the family of Reuben gathered 250 Israelite men in opposition to Moses and Aaron, saying, You've gone too far. Everyone has made themselves holy, and the Lord is among them. So why do you set yourselves above everyone? When Moses heard this, he fell face down, then said, In the morning the Lord will show us who is holy. Korah, you are a Levite. Isn't it enough that the Lord has given you special jobs working in the tabernacle? The following morning, Moses, Aaron, Korah, and the 250 men presented their burning incense in front of the tabernacle. The glory of the Lord appeared to the entire assembly. Then the Lord opened the earth, and it swallowed all those associated with Korah. Then fire came from the Lord and consumed the remaining 250 men, because they were disrespectful to the Lord. The next day, the Israelite community came grumbling before Moses and Aaron, saying, You have killed the Lord's people. Suddenly the cloud covered the tabernacle, and the glory of the Lord appeared. And the Lord said to Moses, Get out of the way so I can put an end to them at once. A plague started to spread among the people. So Moses said to Aaron, Burn an offering of atonement for the people. So Aaron offered the incense and made atonement for the people. He stood between the living and the dead, and the plague stopped. The Lord said to Moses, Bring a star from each of the twelve family tribes, and write the name of the leader of each family tribe on their star. For the family tribe of Levi will be Aaron's name. Moses did as the Lord commanded, and placed the twelve staffs before the Lord in the tent. The next day, Aaron's staff had sprouted leaves, blossoms, and almonds. The Lord said to Moses, Place Aaron's staff in front of the ark as a sign to the rebellious people. Then the Lord said to Aaron, You and your sons are to be responsible for the care of this sanctuary, guarding the altar, so that my anger will not fall on the Israelites again. I am giving this responsibility of priesthood to you as a gift. Anyone else who comes near will be put to death. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Tell the Israelites to bring a red cow with no blemishes. Uh, do, do, you have, do you have a red cow? Um, uh, oh, I oh, don't actually uh, have a red cow. How about... Uh, so convincing. Bring a red cow with no blemishes. Aaron's son, priest Eleazar, is to take the cow outside the camp and sacrifice it. The ashes from the sacrifice are to be kept and used in the cleansing water for the purification of sin. Now if anyone touches a dead person, they are unclean for seven days. They must purify themselves with the cleansing water. Before they enter the promised